Joe French, the preseason SWAC player of the year, denied by Danger. 4-1 here for the Fighting Illini. And Coleman Hawkins able to finish him. So Sincere Harris already making his imprint felt. He really does that on this end. You see how tight up he is guarding here. And he forced the turnover. That comes Terrence Shannon in the open floor. This is a three from Harris, draws a foul, poor glass as well. Legit 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and I mean, can score on a phone booth. Jaden Epps gets that bucket to go, plus a foul. Now the food Cookman's looking to run. Davis wiggling his way into the lane, able to get an easy two. I'm Davis. telling you, Kevin Davis has done some impressive things here to start the game. And he, he picks and chooses his spots well. The star players for Bethune Cookman as the three goes up in the corner and drops down. R.J. Melendez joining the three-point party. Up and down this year, it's been a struggle to find consistent offense. They started 0 for 7 today. Another turnover. That's their fourth. Now a two-on-one for Illinois. Jaden Epps finishes this time. He's had a number of stops. He's, he's been an actor. He was on a really popular TV show. And it, the name escapes me at the moment, but he's done a lot of different things. Well, their effort has been really good. You know, and that, that's what you can measure. Especially on that enforcing turnovers. That lead to transition points. A start for Illinois that's been predicated on forcing turnovers. 16 points off 10 Bethune Cookman turnovers so far. Ready oh, move in the post from Dane Danger. He just asked to see if he didn't get a picture of that. Well, Ty Rogers wants a picture of that chip. Good help defense that time. Led to another turnover. Harris is running. A little catch and oop there. And now they got their backs turned. May not even know the shot clock's running down. Set two. Oh, what a, oh, what a double clutch from French to just barely get that off. Again, the preseason SWAC player of the year. Maryland, among others. And as Terrence Shannon takes away another steal, players like Jaden Epps, they've matched up against some of the best guards in the country. There's a transition easy bucket there. Why not? Trying to utilize. Oh, good. Danger on the finish after the lob. Everyone's getting involved tonight. I was very fortunate to be in some of the heyday of this proud franchise. Proud, proud uh, program. Sound like I'm talking about the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> uh, he's trying to take his experience to this platoon equipment program again, just building the infrastructure it is what he called it. So now he can go play 30 minutes in back-to-back -back games of these. That's right. And he was dealing with a... Oh, nice foot. He's dealing with a little bit of a back issue in the offseason. Dylan Robertson, by the way, who got that last bucket for Bethune Cookman. He had some foul trouble in that opening half. You see him matched up with Danger. Those two battle again here. And Danger wins that round. Well, the length of the line on the floor right now is just really impressive. Four guys, six, seven or better. That's just a tough shot going down for Zion Harmon. Shannon working here at the controls for the Illini. This one's going up. Oh, what a pass. I thought he was shooting this one. Nice right around hey. feed finds Dane Danger. Something that goes under the radar when he leads the when leads this team in score. Yeah, and he does a really good job. And he's an underrated passer. Mm -hmm. He does a good job of getting downhill, but can create for his teammate. Board hauled in by Meyer here. Oh, good good danger entry. again! Dane Danger with the flush! Danger has eight of Illini's ten points in this half. Nice block by Coleman. Up and that easy finish for oh, Coleman Hawkins. He mentioned he always has this kind of a, a stoic look as there's a lock up high for Robertson who hammers it down hard. That'll be fun to see what he can bring to the table. Red Underwood told us he doesn't want to rush Karen right now. Doesn't want to put him in situations that he's not ready for. As Shannon drains the three, the sixth of the night for Illinois. Yesterday was just his fourth practice, so Red Underwood did say he's been surprisingly in really good shape so far. Maybe not handling the basketball as crisply as he would prefer like that. 
McIntyre gets the steal mentioned. He's a good defender and turned it into a long two, they say. Yeah, it was kind of rusty, though, I tell you. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of like riding a bicycle, but it's been a while. You only had one non-conference home loss in your four seasons. Exchange action. He went the other way. So Dane had the whole side cleared out. Oh, good block. He's got multiple rejections tonight as well. That was an emphatic one. The Alana lead the Big Ten in blocks. They're also top 25 in the country in field goal percentage defense, so they don't get enough credit from on the defensive end. Playing as hard and running as hard as possible. Jaden Epps in double figures today. He's playing hard time in the floor, can get it. And an into confrontation at the other end. Meyer able to swap that. Remember, Big Ten play resumes for Illinois against Northwestern. Big in-state match up there. Another takeaway, Terrence Shannon getting it done defensively. Ball movement has been better today for the Illini, and it's Trent turning into triples all around. Hawkins one rebound shy of a double-double. Opportunity coming up for Dane Danger. Behind the scenes, it's there in terms of a culture. They get the forced turnover here. Oh, yeah, no, there's no doubt about it. And, you know, you want to have that good feeling like you're talking about when you resume Big Ten play. Oh, what a move. Harmon, a pretty finish. Skipping it around again. Rogers blocks. Coming over there was McIntyre, your guy. How important for maintaining possession. Nearly forced to turn over there. And a drive. And a jam. They get a blocking foul called. This is crazy. This is the loudest it's been in this venue all night. They got it. And Sincere Harris trying to capitalize on it. That would have been nice after a win. Heck yeah. Free? Man, that free is for me, I tell you. <laughs> and Sincere Harris continues his tear. He's in double figures now. Instead of the final minute now here in Champaign, it's a really good second half effort from this Bethune Cookman team. But it was just such a rough start for them. Right under what mentioned it. There are going to be speed bumps along the road. Going to be key in terms of how you recover from those speed bumps with this young group this year. And they recovered well tonight from the get go. They played harder, they fought harder, forced turnovers that led to points.